Hey guys, it's Mekasan here with another viewer requested uh, watch mojo video here and mm, hmm, the most anticipated video game remakes and remasters. Well, Final Fantasy 7, obviously, it's gonna be in that one. I know that, uh, I think maybe Final Fantasy VIII as well, even though that's already been released, I believe. Medieval, I know people are expecting that. And of course, there's uh, Link's Awakening. Who doesn't want that, apparently? Well, I mm, eh, still gotta play some of the Zelda games first. Yeah, so... Gotta think about that. So, going back to that old version... I don't know. I do know that, uh... Nintendo had a direct on what... Just, uh, yesterday's... Hmm? Xenoblade Chronicles is getting a definitive edition. So, I don't think that counts... As a remake or remaster. And it did come... After... This video was released. But remasters I'd like to see here. Or remakes. Well, I thought about maybe the Sly Cooper, because I never played those games, and I've got an interest now, but that already had a PS4 remaster. I mean, no, I'm sorry, PS3 remaster collection. Maybe the Resistance franchise, you know, remaster that for the PS4? Like, really up the graphics there and show how hideous the Chimera can look? Grotesque, something like that. Um, it could also be a way to see if there's still interest in the Resistance uh, franchise. And I do want more Resistance games. I like that. Uh, so yeah, I fully expect, of course, uh, the thumbnail had World of Warcraft and their plan on releasing like the original World of Warcraft original, I think. Uh, that's what they said, but mm, whatever. But, I mean, sure, people, people are excited for that here. I, like, they don't like how it's changed from the original. Eh. Ah, remember the good old okay. days? Well, get ready to relive them in the modern world. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 upcoming video mm. game remakes and remasters. Oh, yeah, System one, Shock. We'll some remakes and remasters that you should keep your eyes on in the near or far future. In the reign of chaos. World of Warcraft 3. SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Wait, what? Really? This is this. Ah. Uh. There were a uh. of licensed games to come out of the sixth generation. What? Well, I uh. Out, but some were very solid games. One of those okay, I, I, SpongeBob SquarePants. I'm having trouble comprehending this. This was a good game. Ugh. I, I'm I, oh wow I'm getting a headache just because my mind I, I I can't accept my mind just like short circuiting because of this I can feel a headache literally coming on. <laughs> Battle for Bikini Bottom, what? an original 3D platforming adventure that allowed players to explore Bikini Bottom as they try to put an end to Plankton's robot army. No, no, oh, <laughs> just when we thought this game. Could okay, I admire the. Uh... HQ Nordic came out during E3 2019 to announce a remake. In addition to bringing the gem to modern consoles, okay, this will include content that didn't make it into the original game. I did not. And a new boss fight. This you was. Get it wasn't in the pre pre presentation or whatever, but. Uh, destroy all humans. Okay, yeah, there's that. I never played the original game, so. Yeah, I'm interested. After THQ Nordic revealed the SpongeBob remake and a Darksiders spin-off, the company announced that Destroy All Humans was returning as well. In early 2020, players will get to take control of Crypto and relive the classic sci-fi action adventure from 2005. So far, it's like what would happen if Invader Zim was actually competent? Features to distinguish themselves from each other. The remake is planned to modernize its controls, include additional challenges, and maybe what would have happened if uh, Tack 
was in charge of invading Earth. The remake I don't know. The original Destroy All Humans is on Xbox One, while both the first and second game are on PS4. Green? He's not even green, you idiot! I am not green. Number yeah, that's what I said. Ghostbusters the video game remastered. Released on um, April 4th, 2019. Are you troubled by strange noises? I'm debating myself. I mean, I still, I still got my copy. I love my copy, my PS3. I don't feel the need to buy it again. Game is getting a remaster this October. We know what you're I mean, especially when the remaster really... I'm looking at, what, this is the uh, remaster trailer right here where we're showing clips. It's the same exact graphics as the PS3. That's already Bill Murray. But I might just buy it just because... Just, exactly. Ackroyd has said that the game is essentially the third movie. Mm -hmm. So if you've been dying for a Ghostbusters 3 and are looking for an inexpensive game, be on the lookout for the remaster this October. Yeah, even, yeah, even the comics uh, take the game into account here. Like they they establish that the that the game is the game is Ghostbusters 3. The comics, which directly sequel to the movie, is not taking into account this, the event of this game as well. It's Ghostbusters 3, so yeah, just watch. It online, some of them, some of them, no doubt, made a super cut about this and just titled it Ghostbusters Three. Ghostbusters. Number seven, Medieval. Release date. Medieval. Medi. Medieval. Is that? Hmm. But yeah, it's not interested. If you're unaware of this PS1 relic, Medieval follows the story of Okay, that's why they replayed it. Praised as a hero who died in battle. I never they never mentioned which console was on. Raises an army of the dead. None of the videos I've seen. So this was a PS1 title, huh? Damn. Fate has given it a second chance. Admittedly, the original Medieval wasn't anything too spectacular outside of its world and writing, being a by-the-books action adventure game and earning criticism for sloppy controls, <laughs> low frame rate, and awkward level design. Luckily, the PS4 remake is aiming to fix those issues while also incorporating unfinished designs that didn't make it into the original game. Will Sir Daniel's return... Was so, it's gonna be longer than the, the original the game, game, game then, huh? Hmm. Alright, so, looks like they're gonna get it money's worth. October, perfect. Number six, Warcraft 3, Reforged. Release date, late 2019. There's got to be some other way. Essentially, it's OG Warcraft. As your future king, I order you to purge this city. Hard to believe wow! The Warcraft remake. Considering how big World of Warcraft... What's the story behind that order? Decades. Reforged is a remake of Warcraft 3, hmm. Reign of Chaos. A real-time strategy game that received high amounts of praise for its visuals, music, hmm. and simplified user interface. I think more of the sci-fi of uh, RTSs. Character models and in-game cutscenes, which have not aged well. Reforged is aiming to make characters look more detailed while recreating cutscenes with the new character models. On top of that, acclaimed Warcraft and Starcraft oh, wow. Christy Golden is rewriting the story to fit in with the current timeline while giving more focus. I read, I read some Starcraft books, mostly the uh, Ghost and Spectre books. Number five. Wow. System Shock and System Shock Two. Yeah, this has. This has been delayed a couple times, right? Ha yeah, because of control issues. We're not gonna sugarcoat this. System Shock has been going through a rather rough cycle. Ex been stuck in development there we go. For several years. After putting the project on hiatus for a year and putting out other re-releases and remasters, Night Dive Studios returned to the remake as of March. I mean, it looks impressive. I want to play this game. <laughs> the control is simplistic. I like that. It's like. The way he's banging at that reminds me of Bioshock with the uh, wrenches. Well, System Shock influenced dozens of first-person shooters we love today with its level design and narrative. Besides, have you seen Night Dive's pre-alpha footage? It shows System Shock is in the right hands. It is pre-alpha? Yeah, okay, pre-alpha footage, you're right. Mm-hmm, looks nice. Four, Tiles of Madness. Oh yeah, this one's well, they, they announced this in the like, E3 and in the Nintendo Direct. Also known as Saiken Densetsu 3, Trials of Mana was revolutionary in its time. Yeah, the, oh, the treehouse, yeah. And the graphics there, like, they got an English dub, but I'm, if you're gonna play this game, people stick to Japanese, because 
Wow, the lip syncing was terrible on the English dub. I mean, they, they could, it could be just a work in progress. They'll fix it for the main release, but. Releasing the original game on the Switch as part of Collection of Mana. This was a title that was previously unavailable to Western audiences. And my god, it looks beautiful. 2020 cannot come soon enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks, looks nice to look at. Trials of Mana. Number three, Command and Conquer Remastered and uh, Remastered. Release date. Oh, wow. I, you did, did, you, oh god, that's right. Good. When did they first announce this? Cause I that must that was a I got oh uh, yeah that was a while ago actually I completely forgot they were remastering. I loved Command and Conquer. I think I still got my copies. I I definitely got my copy of Yuri's Revenge. That's for sure. Red Alert was my favorite. <laughs> oh Tiberium, what happened to you? I know you need more deep background, but we're up against. Back at E3, uh, oh, got this murder, and the victim was Command and Conquer. Murder, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they brutally like butchered it. We're, we're, we're talking, they went with medieval torture shit. Mobile game designed for the craft. Luckily, it seems the backlash. I think it was, and more like, and I'm not talking like European, I'm more like Chinese, Chinese techniques in torture, in medieval torture. Oh wow, that, that that sound, that just a command, yes sir. Just it complete. It's like I've heard it so many times. Mastered by Petroglyph Games, a studio founded by the original uh. Command and Conquer developer. With that and the promise of not ham-fisting microtransactions, it looks as if EA wants to make amends for the tragedy that was Command and Conquer Rivals. <laughs> make amends, yeah, yeah, yeah. For now, it's like they'll they'll say we. Look, I can see it now. Like we swear. We swear not to uphold to fix our problems here. If you can't tell right now, my, in my back, behind my back here, my fingers are crossed. Yeah, it's what gonna be. I mean, seriously, I, I get the guys gotta make money. But what you're doing, it, oh God. It, it needs to be up, we need to update the laws because what, they're, what they are, how they're doing this, their way to profit, should be made illegal at this point. They are just, they're giving us shit and continuously bleeding us dry for it. Just, ugh. This was simple. Knock out all fortifications, eliminate all Nod troops, and establish a beachhead by building your base. Good luck. Number two, The Legend of Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening. Release date, September 20th, 2019. Eh, um... I'll play some of these Zelda games I already got, which from the like Wii on. I have tried to play like the sixty, the Majora's Mask, meh. And I talked about Wind Waker here, in which I had no idea what what I was doing, so I just enjoyed cruising around like this the ocean. Surprisingly addictive. Also including a new mode that allows players to design their own dungeon as well as amiibo functionality. Allowing players to apply plus effects to those dungeons. It won't be long before we're out to save the land from evil once more. Before we reveal our most anticipated Catherine, here are a few yeah, like the third remake, the, adding a new girl, adding a like. Acting weird lately. I love her, but oh, go with that, Catherine. They want the glasses. Thirteen, okay. That that's already out. That goes dust. Okay. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe <sighs> to the channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest mm. videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on. Mm, so, yeah, okay. Number one, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah, Remake pretty much. State, March 3rd. I was one. That had to be number one. Because there, there was no way they were going to make a list without including this thing. Fighting for was ever won without 
sacrifice. 20 years. It has been over 21 years since Final Fantasy VII touched the hearts of gamers everywhere. Despite its status as a legend, let's oh boy, yeah. Ourselves. The original hasn't aged particularly well. Oh today. God, no, Basically, no. Square Enix has I actually bought it for the PS3, downloaded it, and tried to play it. Tweaks. No. And, but and I played all the other games around the main game from Final Fantasy VII, like uh, Crisis Core, Dirge of Cerberus. I've got the movies. I got the movie, like both one, like we're talking the, the original, the original release, and then the one with the diff with the new like new scenes that it's just a, just a diff, just a little bit different in the Sephiroth and Cloud Battle, and I love it. I fucking love it. Final Fantasy Honestly, I learned about the Final Fantasy VII cast from Kingdom Hearts. And going deeper into different plot points. Square has warned players that they're unsure of how many episodes there will be, but with each one releasing like a full-fledged game, we're pretty much set for the next 20 years before it's time for another remake. God, the first time I've, I've ever seen Sephiroth was in the Colosseum. Oh boy, that was a challenge. Awesome gaming <sighs> The game we, we need the RE2 style. Oh. I think I'll look at this pic. I think I'll look at this uh, video. Because this one did. Yes, I mean. I mean, obviously, the, the first one, of course, we need Resident Evil Outbreak and just. Just remake all of the Resident Evil games that are canon and were set in Raccoon City. There's Outbreak, there's like Nemesis. There's a lot. There's a lot. So, that was it. Again, I mean, nothing I knew here. I mean, I, I forgot about System Shock entirely, but yeah, development hell. And I completely forgot about Command & Conquer. So there's a brand new studio, basically, that's responsible for Command & Conquer. Uh, yeah, because I guess EA still, all, still, like, has the license, the rights to the franchise in their clutches. Yeah, because I want them to actually do Command and Conquer Tiberium 4 properly. Let's just ignore Tiberium Twilight, okay? Let's but let's just like uh, branch it off. Like, okay, just branch it off there. This is the actual like Command and Conquer Tiberium 4 here, all right? I have not played Tiberium Twilight, people. I did buy the game. Have not played it yet, and I've heard nothing but bad things. <sighs> In fact, give us, you know, Command and Conquer Red Alert 4. I loved that game. And how can you go off from there? I mean, <laughs> oh, you had J. Jonah Jameson as the president of the Allied Forces. <laughs> and you had George Takeda as the leader of the Empire of the Rising Sun. And you had Tim Curry. Tim Curry as a Soviet leader. <laughs> oh, it was a... What a brilliant, like, <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Uh, but yeah, Link's Awakening, that's, mm, yeah, there are games I want, of course. Final Fantasy VIII, I'm gonna get. I'm surprised by SpongeBob SquarePants. It's like, what? And of course, the Ghostbusters game. I may buy it just as a form of respect for the late Harold Ramis. And here's hoping that a Ghostbusters movie they announce they're gonna make is actually like respects the original here, not not the other one. Okay, if you, you you've got an interesting setup here, just just have it like in the third and what you did in the con in right continuity here, just Ghostbusters franchise off. There's other places. Go to Chicago. I think you went to Chicago in one part. I don't know, but yeah, we got all that. Uh, Trial of the Mana, I think, have I ever played a Trial of the Mana game? I don't know. I may have. Mm. But yeah, Final, Final Fantasy is what I want. What I want 7. I I gotta buy the Culture Edition, get that cloud statue of the cycle. Oh, that'd be great. That should be great. So yeah, everyone, tell me what you think here. What What's your most highly expected game? 
And yeah, I might actually see this video on Mojo Plays. Games that need the RE2 style remake. I mean, it worked beautifully for uh, Devil May Cry 5. <laughs> yes, give it the, just use the RE engine, Capcom. Use it for other stuff here. Oh boy, I, I'm just imagining right now. What would it be like if they could, if they could, I know they can't, I know they can't. If they could use the RE engine for the evil within. It's a Candyland dream. It'll never happen. But just imagining all the, the monsters and creatures and just all oh, the horrors there with the, with the RE engine. Terrifying. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, another news here. I've, I recently heard that Konami... Have probably gone back to actually making video games. Might be too little, might be too little too late, but we'll wait and see. So yes, everyone, thank you for watching. As always, comment about what you all thought about all about this video here, and just this video, please. Like and subscribe for more. Until the next one, this is Mechasan, and I'll see you next time.